I went to the grocery store, friends, and I bought all these popsicle sticks. Look at all my little sticks. Can you guys make an estimate of how many popsicle sticks you think I have in my big pile? Go ahead and share some ideas. Once you have your ideas of how many you think I have, let's figure out how can we count these guys? How can Miss Anissa count how many popsicle sticks that she has? Let's think. What if I count these one by one? Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, 43, 44, 45, 108, 109, 110, 461, 462, 463, 791, 792, 917, 918, 919, a thousand. There has to be an easier way to count all these sticks, friends. Can you guys give me some ideas of how we can count all of our sticks more efficiently? That just means how can I count all of these sticks in an easier way? Let's brainstorm some more efficient methods of counting all these sticks. I hope you had the same idea as me, friends. I got to thinking about a more efficient or easier way to count all these sticks. And I came up with, if I put 10 ones together, I can make a group of 10. If I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, I have 10 ones. I can put these 10 ones together with a rubber band and make a group of 10. See how I turn my 10 ones into a group of 10. This is what I'm gonna do with the rest of my pile. Turn the ones into groups of 10. Here we go. Now, of course, I wish we were all in class so you could help me make groups of 10. But for now, my sister Bria is helping me carefully count 10 ones and put a rubber band around the groups of 10. Remember, 10 ones is equal to one 10. Take a look at all the groups of 10 we made. This is definitely a more efficient or easier way to count all those popsicle sticks, but we can take it a step further. There's an even more efficient way to count all of these sticks. Let's take a look. Now, we already saw what happens when you take 10 ones and you put them together to create one group of 10. But what will happen if I add nine more groups of 10 to the one 10 that I already have? Let's take a look. I have one 10, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens, ten tens. I have ten tens, friends. Can you tell me what is ten tens equal to? If you said 10 groups of 10 is equal to 100, then you are correct, my friend. I'm gonna put my 10 groups of 10 together with a rubber band to make one group of 100. Then I'm gonna make sure to put it in the hundreds place. Let's see that one more time. If I put 10 groups of 10 in the tens place, that's gonna make one group of 100. So I'm gonna put my 10 tens together with the rubber band again and make a group of 100 and put it in the hundreds place. Now I have two groups of 100 or 200. 
Now let's practice figuring out what is the number I have on the board using my hundreds, tens, and ones. What if I add three tens to my board? Now I have my groups of 100 in the hundreds place and I have my groups of tens in the tens place. I have two groups in my hundreds and I have three groups in my tens. If I count by hundreds, I have 100, 200. If I count by my tens, I have 10, 20, 30. All together, I have the number 200 and 30. Let's see what happens when I add a few ones to my board. Now that we have six more ones, can you tell me what is this number? If you said the number is 236, you're correct. We have two groups of 100 in the hundreds place, 100, 200. We have three groups of 10 in the tens place, 10, 20, 30. And we have six ones in our ones place, one, two, three, four, five, six. So all together, we have 236. Good job, friends. Let's try another example. Now I'm going to add a few more tens to my board. Then I'm gonna take away a few of the ones that I have. Now can you tell me, what is this number? If you said the answer is 262, you're correct. We still have two groups of 100, and now we have six groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in our tens place. And then, and lastly, we have two ones. So all together we have 262. Let's do a little more practice, friends. Watch as I add a few more tens and some ones to my board. Then I want you to figure out what number is this? So we know that we have two groups of 100 in our hundreds place, but let's count our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 10 groups of 10, which equals 100. And we know what to do, friends. We're gonna put all of these groups of 10 together to create a new group of 100. I'm gonna use my rubber band to tie those tens together and put my hundred in the hundreds place. Now let's see the new number that we have. Can you tell me what is this number? Let's count to figure out our number. There are three groups of 100 in the hundreds place. If I count by 100, I have 100, 200, 300. There are no tens, friends, so there will be a zero in our tens place. And let's count our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This means I have 309 as my number. And remember, there were no tens. The number is 309, 309. Last thing, let's say I add 110 to my ones place. Now I have 10 ones. We know that 10 ones is equal to 110. So I'm gonna pick my sticks up and put them together with a rubber band to make a 10 for my 10 ones. And I'm gonna put it in the tens place. Now I'm gonna add some more tens and ones to my board so you can tell me what is this last number that I am making on the board. What number is this, friends? If you said this number is 333, you are correct, my friend. There are three groups of 100 in the hundreds place. There are three groups of 10 in the tens place. 
and there are three units in the ones place. That makes 333. Now it's time to do some practice on your own. Good luck, my friends.